All right, so today I'm going to do a video on this weapon systems, these Roblox weapon systems, and I did not get a lot of time to look into them. These uh, these weapons are pretty complicated, and there's a lot of scripts. Uh, but somebody wanted to know how to use the creator tag to do uh, deaths, to do kills and deaths for a leaderboard, and I just kind of went through it and found a quick solution. I think this is a good solution, but I didn't get it a lot of time. So if you guys have comments on a better way, go ahead and let me know. But this SMG here, if you look into it, it's huge. It's got a lot of stuff, but it does not have a creator tag, which Roblox used to put into all their weapons. If I do a control shift F and I search on it, creator, I get nothing. So let's add a creator tag. Let's go over to our toolbox. And I'm going to search for a sword, one of their old swords that have creator tags on them. And, oh, that's by, by Roblox. Oh, there we go. I'll do my Control-Shift-F and see there's creators already highlighted. Search all. There we go. Double-click on that, one of these findings down here. If you don't have this window, um, it should pop up. Just go to the view and look for um, find results. It should pop up on its own, but if it doesn't, you can get find results. All right, so these two things, these are the magical uh, functions for creator tags. Takes the other guys off if you shoot somebody, and then puts yours on, so you get credit for the, the last person to shoot them and kill them gets credit for it. So I will copy these. Go ahead and copy these two functions. And uh, right click, copy. Let's look at our SMG. Where would we put those? Oh my God, look at all those scripts. Let's do this. Let's do a control shift F and do search, search on take damage. Oh man, let's see. Oh, look at that, take damage. It's in the weapon system. All right, so there's this default damage callback. I did not check to see what all the other ones were. I bet, what's this one over here? Oh, that's for the classic sword. So it only see it only seems like it takes damage one in one place. Well, let's try it out. Let's do a print. Say uh, amount of damage, and that's just to see if if my creator tag's not working. I want to know, and I bet that's amount. I gotta say the one thing that they do right in this this weapon system is they do name these well. All right, so we're gonna have. A target, the target is going to be the humanoid, and that's the one taking damage. So that's obviously going to be like the zombie. I'm going to kill zombies on this one. So I need to remove, I'll do it here. I'll do it above the take damage. I need to remove anybody else's creator tag. Oh, uh, I forgot to do my paste. Control V, and that adds my tag humanoid and untag humanoid. Oops, we don't have a debris. We can add that. Let's do a gain colon get service debris. And then we'll add the item to that. Perfect. All right, now we'll do our, what was that? Untag humanoid, untag humanoid. So nobody else gets credit if you hit them. And that's just the humanoid and that's the target, right? Now we'll We'll put a tag on, we'll put our tag on the humanoid that we're hitting. Let's go down here. We're looking good. All right, so humanoid is a target, right? And player is probably the dealer. It is, I checked. I didn't spend a lot of time on this video, but I did, I did run through everything to check to see if it worked. And that's looking good. Now, let's make it so, let's make it so um, we have some zombies that we can kill. Let me get rid of my, my sword. Can I get that? Ugh, let me just get it here. Classic sword, delete. How close is this to, let me, let's just put this in our backpack now. And go down here and starter pack. There we go. All right, let's get some zombies. Let's see, we got a sword. And I'll do these Arthro zombies here. 
Oh, let's add one. Because you know what? In order to get credit for our zombies, we need to put a script on them. And this is the same, if you look at my creator tag video, um, kills and deaths with the creator tag. This is the same, same type of script. I'm just going to modify it a little bit because they're not going to spawn. How many did I put in here? I got two in here. I only need one. I got sidetracked. Delete that. All right, so here we're going to do our, we're going to get our zo our zombies humanoid. Uh, let's see, we'll do a local char script.parent. Cool. Local hum equals char. Let's do a colon wait for child just in case. Humanoid. And let's see, humanoid has an event called died. You can probably guess what that's for. We're going to put a function in there. And we'll do local tag equals hum colon find first child. And we're going to look for the creator. Sweet. And we'll say if tag then uh, local this is going to be the this is going to be the player that gets the that gets the reward right so on the tags value that's the player that did the killing and then we'll need a kills metric from the player's leader leader stats which you don't have at the moment so it'll fail if you play it right at this moment so kills value equals kills value plus one. All right. So now if you're going to put this on other players, you would, you'd want to do this when they're adding the character in the game for the other players. It would be very similar. You just put this in add character or character added. All right. So that look, that's looking good. Now we need our leaderboard. Let's go down here. And I swiped the leaderboard right out of my kills and deaths leaderboard video. We'll see. Well, I, I modified it a little bit. So leader stats. I made it simpler. All right. So here I'm just going to do a typical board. Local function add board player. And then local board equals instance new folder. Player is the parent. And then we'll do board.name equals leader stats. Ooh, there we go. Leader stats. Local kills equals instance new. There's my parenthesis. There we go. That's an int value. And that parent's going to be the board. And then the kills name. Now you have to have this match up to... Um, what your creator, what, what your died event is going, your died function is going to call, right? So see, we had that kills right here on this script, which is on the zombie. Let's, let's rename that script. Let's show an explorer. There we go. Let's call that death. There. See, we call, we, we, we went to get kills right here. So that name has to match this name right here. And We'll just do a game players, uh, player added, right? Player added, connect, add board. All right. Now let's, let's try it out. We only got one zombie there. Uh, let's duplicate the zombie because it's already got the script on it. Control D, control D. There we go. Got three zombies. Let's play it. Oh, the SMG hit your one. All right, we got one. Oh, we got three deaths. See that? That's not supposed to happen. Humanoids are only supposed to die once. I got a fix for that. Let's go ahead and do a shift F5 so that we can break out of that because that annoying uh, target lock. In my death script, let me get rid of the other two zombies so I only update the script once. 
Let's go here. My death script right here. Now, if you do respawn, you're gonna have to be careful of this. This won't work. This won't happen. This won't be a problem on the player. For some strange reason, those Arthro zombies die multiple times. I don't. I don't know why. If you know why, put it in the comments. So I'm gonna say can die equals true, and then I'll just do a and can die. And then we'll say false. We'll, we'll put a debounce on there so it only happens once. Now when we play it, it'll, they'll only die one time. I wonder if it, the creator tag is, or if the, what do you, what do you call it, the, the SMG kill, shoots so fast it doesn't have time to update. There, that's one. Let's put a couple zombies out. And control D. Control D, Control D. There we go, we got four. That's a good test. Get our SMG. All right, zombies. Ten. Ten. Ah, good. There's only one death on that one. It, this will work. I've tried it many times. I just don't know why you have to do it. Because a humanoid should only die once. I just figured out. I haven't had time to look into it. But anyway, there you go. You got a creator tag. You can update your, your leaderboard with it. And uh, I'll put those scripts in the description because I know this is kind of a rough video. I didn't have time to really investigate it. All right, so I will see you in the next video. And let me know if this worked or if you guys have any more insight on those weapon systems. I did not get to play with them that much.